in Bolton, where we are following breaking news tonight. A water rescue underway at Lower Bolton Lake. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Eliza Krasinski got an update since we saw her at 5 o'clock. Eliza, what can you tell us now? Yes, yeah, Stephanie, it's pretty sad news. There were two people who capsized a canoe. One person was taken out of the water. Police tell us that person was transported to the hospital and they were pronounced dead there. There is a very, very active, intense rescue happening right here on Bolton Lake for that other person. Police, as of now, have not found anyone. You can see in the distance that boat going out, that police boat, search teams, East Hartford, Hartford, uh, Andover, Everyone in the community trying to locate that person, but we do know one adult male has died at the hospital. Um, and I spoke with Vernon, a uh, public information officer. He uh, is helping the Department of Environmental and Energy Protection right now um, with just as they are trying to actively figure out what is going on. But his update, he says it is pretty intense conditions out there and they're really just working with the sunlight. Uh, the lake is choppy. We are having some uh, some issues trying to uh, stay in a central location to try to find them. Uh, but again, we are. Uh, this is a very active and fluid scene, as as you can see behind me. Um, and we're we're trying our best to, to locate this person before before dark. So it is really unfortunate. A gorgeous day um, out here. They were just taking their canoe out, but that water temperature is cold. He did touch on, you know, some potential for hypothermia and uh, just the windy conditions out there on the lake as well. It looks nice. It feels nice, but the water conditions are pretty intense. So again, one adult male has died. Another is still in the water and police are actively looking for that person right now. Any information, we will have it right here on air and on the Channel 3 app. For now, live in Bolton, Eliza Krasinski, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Live.